Hey, Turtle Club, good morning. It is Monday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we are back from our time off. We're doing another random morning stream while we wait for the votes to all tabulate in. Uh, we did have a, I guess, minor itty-bitty issue with Clarence over the weekend. Discord had some connection problems. Hey, Zacharoff, how's it going? And because it had some connection issues uh, for a little bit, um, Clarence bot was down. Hey, Potato Sackhead, how's it going? Glad to see you. And guys, we're going to be doing a, kind of a different stream. Um, one that we've seen some other streamers kind of do stuff with. And that is a an opening stream, basically. This is still the, the best game that I enjoy playing right now, Fortnite Save the World. And again, it is when it's not on sale, it's $39.98. And when it is on sale, it's like $25 bucks for the basic version of the game. Uh, we've taken a week's worth of gameplay. Seven days of just kind of logging in, doing our quests, getting some of our candy. Um, and we've saved it up toward all of the pinatas. Because some of the questions that people have with free-to-play games is usually... Do I need to spend money on this? Do I need to actually spend? And again, this game, guys, will go free to play in 2018. But I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what you could expect. Now, um, some of the days that we logged in, we kind of goofed and we wound up opening up our llamas. You can see there should be um, every, if you got a founder's pack, uh, you should get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven llamas every seven days. So we should have seven founder's llamas, but we've opened a couple of those. Hey, Anthony, not much, man. We're about to bust open a whole lot of llamas and see exactly kind of what we can get out of that. So first off, we're going to go to our loot tab. This one's gonna sting. And this is our founder's llama, and these can upgrade. This one did not. Well, Good morning, Demon me. Huntress. And that's going to be kind of the bulk of this. Uh, guys, you can see we got 100 candy, which is the new currency that they're using for the event. Um, so... And here's an, another Founder's Llama that we get. This one's got a specialized trap in it, so... And again, guys, this is seven days worth of me just playing. This is not me spending any kind of money. This is not me getting any kind of actual specialized currency uh, through non-normal gameplay means. So, hey, Sal, how's it going? So here you can see that just out of these uh, two pinatas, we got... 200 candy every 500 candy in this game will actually get you a an actual holiday llama so going to our loot screen we can now see we have 18 mini llamas we get those through various missions um, i'm doing pretty good anthony um, thanks for asking man uh, we can get those through a lot of different methods different routes uh, the most common route is by doing storm shield defenses and People ask for Storm Shield Defense assistance all the time. Uh, in case in point, uh, let's actually move the... See right here, you can actually see where somebody's asking for Plankerton SSD5. And so we would be able to assist them if we had done that. Okay, uh, meet your new family doctor. Oh, well, thanks, Sally. Appreciate that. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is, if you look, 350 V-Bucks. We have 765, and we've done this again. Just through daily quests, you can get 50 V-Bucks. Through doing Storm Shield defenses in the game, you get 100 V-Bucks. Uh, through other means uh, on the map, you can get like 15 and 30 V-Bucks. So just through seven days of gameplay, we've amassed 765 of these. We're actually going to buy two of these particular special llamas. They're people llamas which means that they're going to have people inside them, and that's going to be heroes and defenders and survivors. So, and it pops up and says, hey, are you sure you want to spend the 700 V-Bucks? And we're going to say yes. A colossal stick indeed. And when they're specialized like this, they will upgrade to a certain tier automatically. And we can see here that we're getting a slew of survivors out of this particular one. 350 candy. Again, that's part of the Halloween materials there that we're getting there. And we get a hero out of this, a rare constructor or a rare outlander. Um, I'm actually going to go with the constructor because those are usually um, less gained by me. Hazard's a good one to have. Another. So, and here we go. Something just upgraded to epic. 
It's going to give us an epic rifleman or an epic shotgunner. Uh, shotgunners, we have very few in our collection, so we're going to go with that. And for just that one pinata, we got a pretty good deal. So here's the second one. Yeah, it did an upgrade. You know, they don't always upgrade. So we got an assassin, Sarah. Uh, we're actually hoping for uh, an epic version of that. An Enforcer Grizzly, so that's two heroes that we got out of this, and 350 candy. So, as you can notice with the candy, when you buy specialized actual um, llamas, you wind up with a, a set amount of candy, or set amount of event, equal to the number of V-Bucks you spend. Hey, Chadley, how's it going, man? We're busting up an, a week's worth of piñatas today, man. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start opening up these mini llamas to kind of give you an idea of where they all fall in. Um, and this is going to go pretty quick. Um, we have 18 of these. And mini llamas usually only give you three items. Sometimes they'll give you four. I've seen some give you five. And those are usually rare when they upgrade. But you can tell that most of these... Uh, here's an upgrade. It went to silver. And so this one, we're going to actually get a couple extra items out of it. So here we go. Upgrading the silver gets us... Oh, wow. Uh, they they did patch this to increase the, the loot word for those. So just one upgrade got me six items. And again, guys, this is just me saving back everything that I've managed to acquire over a week's time. Because I wanted to give everybody kind of an idea of... Do you have to spend money on this game or not? Silver! And again, these mini llamas you can get for missions and you can get from doing Storm Shield defense assistance. Up, oh, oh, we got a, a rare survivor out of there. And we have so many more of these to boast open. We have a total of 18 of these. Guess what? Three is just the initial stack of 10. If you guys don't know Chadley, Chadley does some actual family-friendly streaming. He's one of the, the cool streamers we watch when we've got time. We've sadly not had that lately. Um, we've been spending some time with our in-laws and spending some time with Digrat, kind of doing some holiday stuff. Oh yeah, there's another upgrade. So out of a, a set of 10 of them, we actually got three upgraded llamas. So odds are we'll probably get two, two more upgrades. And again, this is, I mean... This is just with us playing the game. This is not spending any money. No cash coming out. So if you have... And again, all I have to play daily when I do play is about an hour of time. Maybe two hours. Uh, now we can claim the last eight of these. And that was the scythe that we got to bust this guy open with. And we're seeing that we're getting a lot of experience, which is good. And a lot of common survivors. Hey, Hobbs, how's it going, man? We're doing a lot of llama busting open today. We got a week's worth of llamas. Kind of to sort of cap off the Fortnite videos we were doing. Uh, we only had two recorded. We were meaning to do a third one to be able to show off the, the ninja as well as... Um, the soldier, and we'll be showing those two characters off during this video as well, once we get through all the pinatas. And the llamas are just, you know, just kind of animated and funny. And candy, you said. So out of eight item llamas, we got 24 items. And, I mean, it's a pretty good spread. You can see that these basic mini llamas occasionally give blues. They usually give commons and sometimes uncommons. And so it's it's going to allow you to kind of snowball them upwards. So the last llamas we have is candy llamas. And if we'll go into our actual armory real quick, we can see resources-wise. We have 2,450 candy. If we could somehow bust open one more um, item that gives us 50 candy, we'd have five of these candy llamas after a full week. Um, and these are where some of the, the best loot is currently coming out because this is the event. 
we're going to go ahead and pop all four of these. Now, this event does end on the 29th, so there would be... <laughs> and we shall give him his wish. And these are all going to be event themed. So there's some new traps that got put out. Um, here is as a choice between either a rare soldier or a rare ninja. Now, as far as the ninjas and soldiers, instructors, and outliners go for the event llamas, there are no rare ones for the new ones. So in this case, we're going to go rare ninja and hope for the assassin Sarah. Hey, we got an assassin Sarah. I th think that's the one I needed. So, and we got us a defender and a legendary survivor. So, I mean, you can tell between that and the mini llamas, those are a lot better. Um, much, much better. And, the, you know, the, the llamas sound just so apathetic. Uh, support special attack. We're getting some heroes here. We're getting some epics out of this. Some epic defenders, some epic survivors, some more legendary survivors. Um... And once again, this is just through a week's worth of playing that we're getting all this material, guys. So, and we're going to kind of show it all once it's all kind of all said and done. What all the new ones look together all piled up. And here's another survivor that's epic. And here is the last of the Candy Llamas. And we haven't played the game today. So, we need 50 candy for one more piñata. I mean, so that's five piñatas in about a week. And that's actually pretty good. Um, oh, the Copper Stallion. That's actually one of the new shotguns. So, out of those four candy llamas, we got 36. And now we're kind of all llamaed out. Um, we have no way to get any other llamas except for if we can get the 50 candy. Uh, that we can actually do by going to Hexylvania and fighting on one of these zones. Or, we have a quest to do data retrieval. And that'll give us 50 V-Bucks, which will get us another Llama. And that's the route that I'm going to take in this particular case, because the two missions that are in Hexylvania right now are not to our strong suit. So we're going to go to Heroes. We're going to change over to a Soldier. Now this is, this right here is the Soldier that I've been thinking about doing. Shock Trooper Renegade. And we're going to use him as our primary. You're going to notice our health drops way, way down. We really want to use Shock Specialist AC. And we might be able to level him up to where we need to have him at. Because for his super ability, his secondary ability, we actually have to have him evolved. And we have all the materials we need. So we're going to do that. So now his ability on that Shock Specialist that we just unlocked is Shockwave. Hey, Zombie Billy, how's it going? Uh, which is our AoE with our actual character. It's going to grant us some resistance, so it's going to grant us some survivability, and that's very important for what we're dealing with here. Um, as far as our other character that we're going to utilize in this particular support squad but slot, we're not sure who we're using yet. So usually what I just do is I go with my biggest dude, because you can get a bit of a buff off of that. So we're going to come in pretty decent with about 13,000 hit points. I'm going to select that guy there. And so now we're going to go to the map, and all we got to do is one, defend the data mission. So we can do that actually in a, a smaller level zone if we wanted to. And usually if you're going to do that, you're going to look for one of these missions. If you're looking for other people to play with, you're going to look for a mission that has the little clock icon. And You'll notice that this one right here is already gone, which means that last night when I came home, I played a little bit after the dailies reset, and I don't have the ability to get the reward from here. However, other people will be playing that. <laughs> oh, Catwater, no worries, no worries. Thanks for joining the stream today. I uh, Speaking of the stream today, I need to come in and put Fortnite as the game for the title of the stream. Oh, missed you too, Catwater. Missed you too. I, I missed all you guys. And, you know, that's kind of the bittersweet part of doing any kind of holiday, sh spending time with friends and family and all that, is uh, you kind of have to split your difference sometimes. Uh, so we're going to edit our gadgets, because we don't foresee anybody coming in here. 
Uh, Zombie Billy, yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Um, I've also posted in Discord. We're still working on it. We're about 60% through with the Q&A video, man. Um, there's a lot of editing to go with it, and it kept kind of crashing on me while I was trying to do some of the rendering for it. Um, just wasn't wasn't in the cards for me to get it up time, sadly. Oh, whoa. I have. Okay. There. Whoa. My hit points are nowhere near what they should be. We've got a bonus. Um. Okay. Well, guys. Yeah, it was a good mini vacation. Yeah, it was. Um. My, my hit points should be way higher than what they are. So... Oh, I, I can't wait to get it finished either, man. I, I, I wanted to make sure that we were going to have a stream today. So it's... Man... I'm kind of worried about the hit points being as low as they are. It is what it is. But I, they may have got some kind of new scaling in here. Um, and if that's the case, that scale is really kind of concerning. And we might be able to ask the people in the, the group that we're in. Let's see if their stats also scaled down. Alright, see you, Billy. Have a good day at school, man. So what we're gonna do also over here, yeah, take care, man. Is so what I'm getting told in the actual text chat is that our abilities and everything scale down when we go into the the lower end zone. That may have been a a new thing because it's the first time I've noticed it, guys. Um, this part of Fortnite, no, uh, Demon Huntress, this part of Fortnite is available on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Uh, you can actually purchase it, um, on PlayStation. Now, it's only, um, you know, the only part of it that is free to play right now is the Battle Royale, and that's across all three platforms. Uh, but in 2018, it will be free to play across everything. And again, it's early access, so that's one of the reasons why there is a bit of a cost for it. They're trying to see what the market looks like for it. Um, but there's a lot of people that I've been playing with on PS4 as well as, as PlayStation. Or as a Xbox, but um, I, I've seen Xbox players, rather. I haven't got to play with any of them. Battle Royale is pretty fun to watch. Yeah, Battle Royale is definitely... Um, the more kind of interesting pick-up-and-go kind of thing. Um, it, it's more so, though, I think, because it's more readily available. Uh, but between playing and watching, uh, Battle Royale, it just depends upon the events they get into or the situations they get into.
in this case, it looks like we're not going to be able to get this. So why would they make it available to buy just to make it free next year? Well, one of the things about game development, Demon Huntress, is that to be able to put together a game like this, you do have to have some kind of capital, um, some way to make it, you know, to where you can pay the guys and make the bills. And so they put it out as a pay-to-play game to start with to kind of help them get to where they wanted to be with it. Uh, it's kind of one of the reasons why they're in so much trouble with Battle Royale is because Battle Royale wound up being too much of a clone uh, compared to some other stuff. Um, and so they're kind of... And the question is, did they really develop Battle Royale or did they just take another company's game file which was made with the same engine and they actually had access to and make some alterations on the fly and that's that's you know that's what the courts are going to decide about the actual battle royale game but they released the battle royale primarily to get some um, some headway on this one hey indigo how's it going man we're working on getting our last 50 V bucks that we need doing daily quests. The purchasers are the guinea pigs. Yes, I am and Dig Rat and Alienated One. We are definitely the guinea pigs when it comes to this particular game. Uh, we get to get all, but we also get some benefits out of that. Um, for being the guinea pig, we get to play the game before anybody, which, you know, that's not as cool as some people would make make you know want to think it is but it is pretty cool in my opinion to be able to get to play a game before anyone else does it also means that there are things that we get that other players won't get uh, one of the things for having one of the higher tier purchases is there is um, and I'll just say it because it's some sticker shock it's it's a hundred and fifty dollars for the top tier uh, of the actual purchase game and you don't have to pay for that all at once you can actually buy the 39.98 version of it and then upgrade it to the $60 version of it and then upgrade that to the $100 version of it and then finally upgrade it to the $150 version of it so it's not one of those things that you have to do all at once um, but that particular version of the game does allow you to choose a class out of the four and it gives you an exclusive pair of characters for that class they're identical except for the gender and that's another thing that I like about this company and the way they deal with it is they they do gender switching out so if you would rather play a female character um, chances are there will be a female character for your playstyle same thing for male version oh yeah oh yeah if you like something exactly Demon Huntress um, I have over the time I have upgraded my actual copy of this game to the the high tier version that I was just discussing and again it's one of those things that you know it's it's personal money that I'm using it's not channel money that I'm using because that just doesn't seem right in my in my book um, to do something along those lines but uh, I upgraded you know over multiple months to the top tier and the character that I play the class that I play the top tier that I unlocked for that I, I think was fully worth it um, I have the non paid version of that same character and there's enough of a difference not a huge difference but enough to where I was like okay well this is one of those things that we definitely want to do alright so in a few minutes we're gonna actually have an attack come from to this balloon here because this mission here is what's called the retrieve the data there's a weather balloon that's been gathering information about the zombie storms that have been causing all the body snatchers and bad activity um, these weather balloons collect the data we wait for them to come down hey shadow how's it going man glad to see you man there, there's my second member of the convertible turtle no shave november club as you guys can see it's all growing back in it's it's actually pretty burly it, it's not quite the length where we think it'll be in about another week and a half but it's getting real real close and eventually we're ha we'll have the commander Riker going on how's 
How much metal is this over here? That's just one piece of metal. It's not going to be worth it. Uh, I'm not sure why they were using that ability. Guess I should ask if they were ready to start because people are just using random abilities. Okay, so we're going to start now. So for this particular mission, all we have to do is keep the monsters from getting to the balloon that you just saw get popped. Not a not a difficult thing to do. We just pretty much come through and just mow them out. This particular character we have is a soldier. They're meant to use machine gun. And they are meant to the assault weapon more than anything. And they do have a AOE ability that gets them out of top jams, like that. The grenade ability you have is a way for them to do extra AOE damage. Notice it has a little bit of a cooldown on it. The soldiers are generally a faster runner, as you may recall from the other video that we uploaded, where I uh, was playing alongside... Uh, alienated one and we do realize that the, the mic volume on that was actually pretty bad um, we're we just don't have a way to really fix that sadly but the soldier actually has better mobility they're able to run they're not as mobile as the outlander but they do have the ability to run faster they also do extra damage the extra mobility kind of helps because it lets you dodge a lot easier And you'll notice on the right-hand side of the HUD, the heads-up display that this game has, it's actually telling me where we're at per file. If the balloon that we actually got walled up takes any damage, it'll corrupt the data. It's kind of like kicking a USB stick. You don't really want to do that if you can avoid it. And we're pretty much just keeping these guys crowded here. I mean, if they can get to the base, the base should protect it. But all we gotta do is just keep these guys dead for the next six minutes, and we should have no problem finishing this mission. Which will complete our daily mission. Which will then get us, um... Come on, let's just drop him down there. So now we got this big, huge propane tank. We can do some damage to it, blow everybody up. Yeah, it looks like the guys I'm playing with finally got tired of just sitting back and waiting. One of them advanced at least. I'm not quite sure what the emojis that Shadow use are supposed to indicate. I'm not too fond of the grenades for this guy. I mean, they don't seem to do as much damage as I'd like them to. But then again, as we found out earlier, the the actual game has scaled my stats back for this zone. Still looks like we're doing a pretty good amount of damage. Oh, Indigo, I, I did, man. I had a great weekend. I got to kind of recharge the old batteries. Um, I was down in a... Part of the country that just moves at a slower pace. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, the the, the internet's a little uh, not where I would like to see it. <laughs> um, took about two to three hours to upload some of the videos that we posted. And again, guys, this is the Defend the Data mission. All we have to do is keep killing guys as they come in. Oh, look at me. I feel accomplished. 
That's a pretty awesome mace she's carrying. I mean, look at that. It's like a hydraulic hammer. So you got two correct seeds left to find. Can you tell you where they are? <laughs> oh, I wish, man. I wish. Oh, here is a big old dude. Smasher. And even though, again, our, our stats have been adjusted from the higher level to these lower levels, but the damage that the soldier does, he's just going through these guys like a hot knife through butter. That That's his goal, though, is he's supposed to be the hot knife through butter. Well, it looks like a couple guys made it past me. Still not 100% sure how the grenade system works really well in this game. Oh, here's, here we go. That actually worked out pretty good. So his shockwave ability is actually pretty good at knocking things around. No clue where that is. It looked like there was just a floating, floating health bar. Huh. Well, I guess we'll just put this up in the air here. So one of the things you get in your talent trees is the ability just to shoot stuff with a, a gun turret. Here's mine. It's just going to sit here, and as they get close, it's going to shoot some of them. Um, that's a... I, I, I should have dodged that. Really should have. Oh, this is cool. Nice little huge tornado. The tornadoes themselves don't do any damage, but they indicate a whole mess of stuff. I have no clue why my guy just said grenade like that. The grenade was over and done with. Hey, our fort's getting heat up. Wait for it. Hmm. Well, in four seconds, guys, we'll have this mission totally finished off. We'll be able to go in buy a V-Buck Llama, so you can see what the standard Llamas are, not the bonus Llama like we got earlier. And then we'll be able to get our last Halloween. Mama. A good job. The data you collected will help us locate survivors and weak points in the storm. And when we finish mission, we get a little victory screen here that's tailor made to the actual mission in question. There is a score which tells us who did the most damage, who did the most building, and who did the most destroying of things. Uh, the combat building utility. Uh, utility also is if you build a um, a weapon. For some reason, building does not actually incorporate building weapons, which is, eh. And this was such a low mission, we didn't get experience points, but it still was a challenging mission. I mean, if, if we uh, weren't actually built correctly, and I didn't have the, the character that I had, it would have been a bit of a different fight. The last thing you can do here is if you actually don't think that anybody was a, a jerk, you can give them a thumbs up. 
that basically makes it more likely that you'll randomly play with that guy in the matchmaking system. And now we're going to see the actual post-game, post-mission kind of rewards. Just for doing the actual level, we got the level 4 loot for all the bonuses we did. Pardon me. Um, that gets us some crafting materials, which is really good. Some people, which is also oddly a crafting material. And some survivor experience, which we'll be looking at the survivor um, section in just a few seconds. Hey, Kenny, how's it going? Kenny the Neo Kid's another fellow streamer. Uh, we'll see here that we got a quest complete. And that will open up to the 50 V-Bucks that we need for the Loot Llama. So now we got 115. We can buy a Upgrade Llama. This is the basic Llama. It has a chance to upgrade from Silver to Gold to Platinum. I've never seen a Platinum one. But a Platinum one supposedly does have Mythic Loot in it. Well, here's a Silver one. That'd be cool if it went up to Gold. Yeah, but... You know, okay, sera, sera. No gold upgrade there. And we'll see, in this particular moment, we get 100 candy, which will put us to 550. Oh, we got some sort of choice that come up. We can either get a rare assault rifle or a rare sniper rifle. Uh, we'll go with the assault rifle because the soldier uses the assault rifles, and we have some pretty good um, sniper rifles as it is. Uh, an epic schematic, so that's, you know, for 100 V-Bucks, which would be two daily missions, that's all it would take to get to 100 V-Bucks, that was not a bad purchase at all. So now we have enough for the Fort Nightmares, or the Halloween Llama, however you want to call it. Oh, good. We'll make... And we'll bust this guy open and see what we get out of him. What up, death? But yeah, guys, Kenny the Neo Kid streams a variety of different things. Jackbox, he does some karaoke, um, does Mario Kart, he did Wind Waker. His Wind Waker series is really awesome. I think it was really good to watch. Um, so out of this particular one, we got a Halloween item. You always get at least one. The Freezing Trap is considered to be a Halloween item as well. Got some weapons, we got a survivor. So... Now we, we have a good idea of what a week's worth of gameplay will get in this particular game for us. So, if you'll notice here, these are the actual defenders. These are guys that are going to boost our, our abilities for us. Uh, we got a number of commons. And the commons, at this point in the game, we don't usually care about. But earlier on in the game, you probably would. So, we're going to go and retire these commons. So, you can get an idea. of Right there, there's a thousand here XP we get 200 per common and then we have some uncommons now we did have a an actual shotgunner that the first thing always gets marked is not not new and the uncommon guys we don't keep as much either so again we're gonna retire those and you'll notice that for those we get 400 here experience and this will basically require us to kind of get down to some nitty-gritty um, these are our snipers that we're keeping in the wings. 12% uh, chance not to consume ammo. We really like that ability. Um, shield regeneration rate by 60 when fully upgraded. Uh, that's actually not bad. Uh, weapon reload speed, shield regen. We try to keep five of each. Uh, maximum health. Not too keen on this guy. So we're going to go ahead and retire him as well. And you'll see for an actual uh, a rare... Uh, we're going to get 750 plus a manual, which are required for upgrades. We'll go to our actual shotgunners. Uh, this is the shotgunner we got. Uh, shield regen by 40, maximum shield by 20, and magazine size by 20. That's actually pretty good. Weapon lifespan shield. She's kind of less focused, uh, but we do like the magazine size. Um... But she's actually probably going to wind up going, so we'll retire her as well. This is where we got the Gunslinger. Uh, this is the one that we got. 12% chance not to consume ammo. It's really good. And so we're going to get rid of this particular one here. And again, this is so we can level our character up. We're just trying to see where we are as far as after a week. Just a week of casual playing, guys. Uh, melee crit, what, shield regen, shield regen, shield regen. So he's actually uh, the less focused. 
Uh, maximum health, uh, a bit of spear damage. Okay. So we're going to actually recycle or retire this particular epic guy. Notice we get 2,500 here experience for him. And then out of these remaining dudes, uh, the one that's really not that all focused, we're going to go ahead and get rid of him too. Finally is the uh, rifleman. Uh, we probably should have gotten a rifleman earlier uh, because we're down to just nobody there. So there's our actual defenders that we got. Survivors. Here's all the new survivors we got. We automatically, at this point where we're playing, we retire all the green ones and all the commons. And again, it's all about kind of at the stage that we're at in the game, we have no need to really match these guys up like we would used to. Um, anything that's less than the, the top, really, uh, the top two tiers or top three tiers. So we retire those guys out. These guys we'll all look at in just a few moments when we get to our survivor squads, which will be the last kind of point on the video here, guys. Heroes. These are the characters you actually can play as. And you can see after we did just a week, just seven days, um, the characters that we, we managed to get new. Now, you'll notice that the Shock Specialist AC is listed as new, and you may be wondering why that is. It's because we evolved him. When he goes from a one star to a two star, the game considers him to be a brand new character. Um, here's the Assassin Sarah that we got, and the other one. Uh, we're hoping that the, the blue one is what we want. I don't recall. Hey, Opponents, um, Brawler Luna, we really don't have a need for. Support Specialist Talk, and you can see all these guys get certain bonuses, certain abilities. I, I know that Ranger Deadeye we don't need shock specialist AC. We already have, so we don't need him as well. Hot fixer hazard. I'm pretty sure we don't have a need for him. Uh, Centurion wildcat. I'm not sure what she does. So we don't need the green Sarah versus the blue Sarah. And a support specialist hawk and brawler. So we're going to tell it to retire these. And I'll warn you if there's something that's rare, because rare is kind of a good thing um, when you're not dealing with epics as such as I am at this point. And so we'll go and confirm and get all the hero experience for that. So that was the new ones. So now we're going to go over to our ninjas. We'll see that we do have an actual blue assassin, Sarah. So we have no need for that other one. So we're going to go ahead and tell it to retire that assassin, Sarah. And this is the one that we want to be playing here. So we're going to go and upgrade and ins inspect her. And we're trying to get her to a as high as we can get her. And that's the goal for Assassin Sarah, basically. So we're going to evolve her up. And when they evolve, they get little doodads and trinkets on their on their costume. So at level 15, you can kind of see the kind of character she is. She takes less falling damage. She can double jump at level 2. She's one of the very few ninjas that don't get double jump at level 1. Uh, throwing stars, uh, which we're not too keen on. Throwing stars is good for a ranged weapon, but... Her big deal is that she winds up getting uh, sword damage, lots of sword damage. So her combo attack gets real cheap. She can jump higher. She gets an AOE sword damage attack. <laughs> Owen, hey, uh, we were doing all sorts of pinata smashing, man. Assassination, which gives her extra stuff with her sword. And so that's what we're trying to get her up to is level three, eventually a three star. She'll get smoke bomb. Um, if we ever do get an epic, the epics will actually have two more abilities. They have a level 25 ability and a level 30 ability, which is why we'd really like to see an epic of her at some point. But so that's that's our, our newest ninja there is, and you'll see that there's different classes. We have a shuriken master and we have an assassin. The brawler Luna, um, she gets the extra sword critical damage, so we're keeping this one around specifically to be able to boost her swords. Oh yeah, Owen, um, we're we're actually um, talking about the ninja class right now, and there are multiple all sorts of sword stuff. Um, and then last for the stuff we got out of our pinatas, guys, is our schematics. I mean, you can tell we got a lot of new schematics. Um, Again, we recycle the grays because 
we have no need for those. Uh, the greens we recycle also, depending on whether or not we've already put them in our collection book. So we're going to tilt to recycle, and nothing was pending, so that's all all cool for us. Uh, ninjas, oh yeah, man, ninjas, dude. Um, so let's tilt to recycle the blues. We kind of do these in a a, a pack of each, because. We have our, our weapons that we really enjoy. Now, this is one or more items can be slotted in the collection book. So we're going to decline. And we're going to unselect all of these. Because we want to definitely slot something in the collection book if we can. Um, this uh, also can be slotted in the collection book. So we're going to show you the collection book as well. And the collection book is when you get extras. Because you are going to get extras, sadly, in this game. Um, you're going to be able to put them in the book. Um, so I'm seeing, looks like here's the wall launcher. So we can tell it to put this there. We, we actually, looks like we don't have, all right, we need to put the brakes on just a second. Go to our schematics. Well, this game already been knowing about Ninja just made it. Oh yeah. It, it's a great game, man. It's, it's super awesome. Um, that's weird, because we know we can slot it, but we aren't going to be slotting that one. We're just going to recycle this actual blue instead. We got some frost traps, durability. We always try to go with the, on the traps, we always want the better reload speed. So we're going to keep this one. Or we're going to cycle the others. But as you guys can tell, for just a, a, a week of just slumming it, for lack of a better term, we got a, a huge plethora of stuff. Oh, wow. It looks like we can actually uh, slot this particular because we got a duplicate of that. Uh, let's go ahead and try to recycle these two weapons and see what happens. They're just rare, rare. So that's... What about this? If we recycle that, that's a collection book one. Can you use a controller for this game? Yes, you can, Hoenn. Um, if you'll look real quick here, we'll go to settings. And there's actually an input and a controller option. And you can actually tell it whichever controller you'd like. And there's standard and there's quick builder. So there's two different actual pre-built, uh, depending upon play styles. So it's actually, uh, yeah, we're going to leave without cha saving our changes. So we're going to go back to our collection book. That will not put us over, sadly. But the collection book, as you put stuff in it, oh yeah, very nice. Um, they, they definitely know the, the crowd that they're trying to appeal to is the arcade play style. Uh, assault weapons, we don't have one that we want to put away. Shotguns, so these are the new semi-auto shotguns. Uh, we actually managed to get two of them. We're going to slot the blue one and we're going to slot the purple one. I'm not a fan, uh, a fan of the shotguns. Digrat really likes the shotguns though. So she'll probably uh, she'll probably be very uh, slightly upset with me putting them in the, my collection book and not building her any. But you never know. Uh, so it looks like we have all the pistols that we want to put away. We don't want to get rid of our favorite sniper rifle, explosive weapon. Um, okay, so we don't have a need to put them. Our laser sword, spears, scythes, clubs. So everything else collection book wise, we're, we're good on there. Okay, so the last thing to do is to go to our survival squad den. And this is kind of where you get a lot of your stats at. Like pistols, as you're somewhat more accurate with them. Well, who in, you could pretty much do Kirito in this game, man. You could do a pistol and a sword. Um, that's kind of what uh, Alienated One does, actually. But we're coming in here, we're looking, we have purple, and we got two um, legendaries. We'll notice here that the symbol, we have a leader for our actual medical squad, and the symbol has to match for the best stats. Now, if you don't have a matching symbol, you usually just go with the top rarity and the top level. So we can put this particular character in. You'll notice we'll lose some hit points for it. 455 fortitude versus 483. 
but we do know that we have a lot of survival experience points. So we're just going to go ahead and level her up real quick. Because she matches our actual character. She matches the evolution trait. We're just going to... And this is, the, this is kind of akin to your armor. And if you look at MMOs, this is basically the, the version of the, the armor for the MMO. And now we're actually gaining some hit points out of it. So we're going to select that. And for this particular symbol, you'll notice we have a couple of people waiting in the wings. So once we actually unlock some stuff in these particular tiers, we will be able to increase this group further. Same thing goes for the what I call the bow tie slot. Uh, we have no new people for the bow tie slot, so nothing going on there. If we did, we would usually want to dump them here where we have an actual mythic. Because again, you want to make sure that you have the highest quality character first followed by the actual character matches so this is what I call the bubble dudes and we have an actual bubble dude here so we're going to drop a legendary bubble dude on MacGyver uh, it actually is it's it is a little bit complex Kenny once you get deep into it the Kenny brain cannot process oh man uh, it takes a bit um as you're playing the game the game actually puts in tutorial missions that kind of explain everything in a little bite-sized nugget and once you've gone through that particular bite-sized nugget you go to the next nugget and you kind of pac-man it at that point um but this is lightning bolt by the number of the screen is what level you are it is actually not the level this game is uh, not a level a tracking system it's a ability tracking system so you can view it kind of like a level but the thing is though is it actually can go up and can go down like if we were to take him and mark him out you'll notice that our level went down to 40 so it's not so much a, a level but it's more like um, a gear score in a sense and that's and that's uh, based upon just your stats and everything else combining, which is why a lot of these fiddly bits that I enjoy so much about this game, um, you can, yeah, yeah, exactly. So if you if you play on it and you kind of grind at it, um, you get higher level, higher um, ability score, and it also um, is totally dependent upon the characters that you're playing as. So as you level them up, I mean, every character, even these little survivors, they have their own level. I mean, this particular survivor here, when we go and upgrade to inspect him, he's at level one. So we could actually level this dude up here. And you'll notice while we did that level up, the 41, yeah, it, it, it's, it basically is, um, it allows you to know what kind of, zones you can kind of get into what, what it's all built around and, and slated around uh, here's some more bubbles and we know that we have a purple one that we can slot in there because we just replaced it and again all we're doing is just going through and slotting characters where they kind of fit and again it's leveling up the the characters here switching them out just to get incremental gains and, you know, if you, especially if you're like me and you like fiddly bits and you're kind of OCD, it kind of helps um, with the way the game's laid out. The one thing I also enjoy about this is, you know, I, I've not had a lot of time. I was, you know, this weekend I spent with my in-laws. So one thing I was able to do is send some people, <laughs> a lot of people do Hoenn. A lot of people do Haku. They, they want it to be the weekend. But if you can't play, you can at least take your characters. And I think I explained this on another video. But you can take your characters and you can actually send them on an expedition to get resources for you. So you don't even have to grind that out. Um, and he has, like right now, he's got 100% chance. And it takes five people for us to do that. So we're going to start that expedition to send them out there. And there's a, a boat mission we can send people out. 
So, 8 for an Outland Construction. Hey, Relax and Funny Gaming, how's it going, man? And we'll notice here, once an Outlander or a Constructor, we've actually got, and we got to hit the target power of 65. Oh, yeah, it's, it's just really well built for casual play. Um, so if we can hit 65 here, well, we notice we got a 70, so we'll just send a 70 on there. And it takes 10 people because it's a higher skill requirement mission. So next is a helicopter mission. And the chances of me actually getting a helicopter mission and being able to um, accomplish it are really low. But we're going to see what we can do here. Um, we got to hit 285 on the power. And we are nowhere near that. We can drop an 82 on this. Gives us a 28% chance. We could drop a 67 on here, which gives us a 52% chance. And we can drop us a, a 65, which will give us a 75. That's a pretty good chance. So we'll, again, start the expedition. And basically, at this point, the game is going to play itself while I'm, while I'm sleeping. And these are characters that I don't primarily play at the moment. So the fact that they're going to be gone for 20 hours is no big deal. And again, it's built very much like an MMO, guys. There's a, a skill tree for each tier as you go along. This is the next skill tree that I'm going through. And it does get... Um, oh, well, thanks, man. I, I really appreciate that relaxing. I, I try to go a bit in-depth because I am of the opinion that one of the reasons why I myself watch YouTube videos is to know if something's going to be worth my time. And this particular game I really, really enjoy... A whole lot and so I, I want to make sure people understand what's going on with it and how it can be played because it, it really uh, the more people that play the game the, the better the experience for me is going to be but uh, so you could see again we have this particular soldier um, he's got some additional abilities but we're gonna go over to our assassin Sarah And we're going to choose the Shuriken Master because she increases the amount of damage that's dealt. And then we're going to go to Energy Thief Mari. This is going to be our actual ninja character loadout eventually. This is kind of where we're going with it. Um, we really need to actually have her upgraded to Tier 2. We just haven't done it yet. And you'll notice while we upgraded her... Our actual stats increased because again it's about the squad that you have um, I've not played my assassin Sarah character at all and I no longer have any kind of quests so no real motivation to go anywhere but let's see if we could just kind of there we go here's some hero XP here's a level 5 mission just the itty bitty mission you can see we're still and that's not so much level 5 but the difficulty of it is five power, and we're a 41 power character, so one would think we should be able to hot knife through butter this particular zone. And there's actually a level six, uh, looks like a, an assassin Sarah as well. And this character, their whole entire point is to use swords to just chop things up. And you can tell already that the increased damage from the sword that she does is insane. Because again, her whole entire claim to fame is to do sword damage. And as a ninja, she has a double jump ability. Most of the ninjas happen to have a bionic kind of arm. Love a good tank character? I, I do too. That's usually what I play is a good tank character. Uh, the constructor class and the soldier classes both do good tanks in this game. 
So the mission that we're doing here is actually what's called Save the Survivors. And all we have to do is navigate the map. And we can gather resources while we're navigating. Actually, we can throw shurikens. But what we're doing here is basically finding these survivors of the apocalypse and we're keeping them alive and just kind of taking them places. That's incredible. And as we save these survivors, they go to our base. I, I think you may have missed Hoenn. Huin, Chadley, I, I think he's, he's, he's vacated the, the stream, man. But I know Chadley's actually been looking at this game. I uh, think you're going to... Yeah, it happens, man. I think uh, you said you're going to pick this up once it goes free-to-play, right? Because I know one of the, the ducks played it. And it's a, I, I think it's a fun game, man. I really do. I think you'll enjoy it if you like. And it's, it's kind of uh, did the early access. Are they still playing it, or did they just kind of give up on it? Yeah, uh, the save data. It, it is. It is MMO. Crew progression based so that definitely would be something that um, depending upon your kids and how they look at they're more in the League of Legends at the moment ah oh, well you know to, to each their own I, I'm not um, a, a player of that particular game I've actually not played any MOBAs I've looked into them and I've always thought you know it'd be fun to try one out but I've not really decided on a particular one and, and for the most part most of the community is pretty uh, pretty against new players from what I've noticed on those particular kind of games uh, this yep here's another survivor guys In a second or two, I'm actually going to show off one of her other abilities she has. Yeah, you want stream league? Yeah, I, I, I don't blame you, man. It's, um... Uh... Here we go. Here's our AoE sword attack, which is pretty awesome. We actually jumped all the way over. And it does take 50 um, energy, so we'll just destroy this then. That's the type of game viewers expect you to be really good at the game. That that too, Chadley. Um, and there's, you know, if you're not, um, there is a, a small subset of people that wa like watching failure and ridiculing failure. But I don't think that's a good way to enjoy a game. Uh, it's, you know... It, we will be the first person to admit I'm just remaking a, a, an actual oh, we got somebody screaming for help over here I'll, I'll be the first one to tell anybody that I'm just rubbish at a game um, and you know if if people say something like uh, who was it uh, Hobbs actually one day said if you don't mind me saying I, I think you're really really horrible at this game and you shouldn't be getting killed by these dark nuts as much and that was a fair statement <laughs> I, I am not good at the Zelda 2 game. I I was not good at it. Still not good at it. One of these days I may revisit it. But it uh, you know there's there's it's a fair statement. But to come up and just basically battle royale, you know, battle royale is not a bad game. Thank you. It's not my cup of tea. Um, but if people you know to want to do it for free for all Friday, we have no problem doing it. It's somewhere nearby. Of 
But yeah, Battle Royale just got their microtransaction started uh, about two weeks ago, maybe three. And I, I don't know. Um, I understand that they're looking for the cosmetics to kind of put people apart. Like, you have a certain pickaxe, you look cool. You have a, a different item, you look cool. Um, but, I don't, I don't know. I, I've never been one just to get cosmetics for cosmetic's sake. Or to, to see the point of shelling out money for a cosmetic. Now, I, that's just me, though. I know Digrat personally said that she would pay... Hey, Anthony, welcome back, man. We're about done for the stream. We've got about 13 minutes left. Uh, we're... Doesn't it sound like you. I'm worse than you are. I don't know, Hobbs. You were... I, I was pretty sure when we did Zelda 2, uh, you, you pointed out how bad I was at it. <laughs> but uh, that's okay, man. Because, you know, being bad at something is the first step toward getting good at something. Cosmetics to you should be awarded for leveling up. I see. I don't know. Um, there's there's definitely schools of thought on that. Uh, this particular game does do cosmetics on the somewhere in this particular building is going to be what we're looking for. Because there's there's the med kit that we still haven't found yet. You can tell because there's a magnifying glass here. Forgotten Shadows, probably. It might have been Forgotten Shadows. Forgotten Shadows is usually vocal um, about a lot of things. But I could have sworn it was Hobbs, because I know it was one of Hobbs' favorite games. I've also slept a lot since that stream, so I could be misremembering things. Mine being the way it is, especially at my age. One of the first pieces to go. Dilapidated building's kind of cool. Survivor in danger. Somewhere it's supposed to be a med kit, and we just not managed to find out where it is. Hmm. Well, we got another guy screaming for help, but it's not going to do us any good. Is this game worth it? Oh, absolutely, man. This, this game is worth every penny I've spent on it. I have I have played this game for over 76 days. Um, I have put in way more hours than is, is considered healthy, in my opinion. I it, it scratches an itch that I've really got at times. All right, so we're, we're to the end of the actual... But I, it's basically like an MMO that does mission-based gameplay. So if I only got like an hour to play, or 20 minutes to play, or 7 hours to play, I can get the amount of gameplay out of it that I have. Um, the whole point of today's stream was I only played for about an hour to two per day for 7 days combined total. And I collected up all of the rewards for those particular days and then I, I just opened them all on the same stream and it was somewhere in the ballpark of like 200 individual items that I was able to get for the game and somewhere there's going to be the med kit I, I'm getting kind of curious as to where it is usually if I can't find something in this game the, the thing I like to do is I just destroy what I'm searching and just collapse the whole entire building. So that's that's where I'm at with it now. Is I'm just going to collapse this whole entire building down. And wherever the med kit's hiding, I'll be able to find pretty quick. But uh, I would say that the game is absolutely worth it. it. It becomes very much so worth it when you have people to play with, more so than if you don't. But even as a solo-played game, Uh, Russ A saying go down a level. Um, 
Well, there's definitely a hole down here. Oh, yeah, that's right. They, they now have the, the icon on the magnifying glass to tell us if it's up or down. All right. Looks like that was as far down in that basement as I could go. Looks like someone else tried to do the same thing. Survivor in danger. It's kind of a matter of pride now finding this particular med kit. We have seven minutes to find this med kit. Hey, Lenny, one how's it going, man? All right. All right. So I'm beginning to lose hope. I'm glad to hear it's going good, man. Um, beginning to lose hope that I'm going to be able to find where this med kit is over here. Don't jump. Maybe it's going to be... Uh, seriously? Well, this technically is over here still. Oh, that's cool, man. That's way cool. I, I haven't done any quest items like that, so... Oh, here we go. Here's another... Oh, oh we're, we're actually... We're there. We, we have found the medical kit. Wow, that's... Uh, pretty hardcore. But wow. It led us to an actual chest. So we can't complain. The chest will give us some items. Some metal, which might give us some actual. Well, how are we expected to find this other than just drilling down? I mean. Interesting. So now we probably just do this. Five minutes left. I think the guy they're playing with is oh, not not there. Wow. Okay. I'm trying to get out of this area now. Wow. So that, that's kind of interesting. Alright, so somewhere on the map we should be able to see where we got to turn in our little med kit. And usually that'll be the, the little blue weeble wobble looking thing that happens to have a yellow question mark on him. On him. So that's, that's him here. And we've once again dealt damage to ourselves. There we go. And occasionally we, you know, we're a bad ninja. We use guns. We, we do the Indiana Jones thing. We, we don't feel good and we just shoot people. That's kind of cool. Mind if I do. 
lots of just horrible enemies up here. But the guy that's standing over here... Hey, Charizard X. Good to see you, man. He wants another med kit. Maybe this will be a lot easier to find, hopefully, guys. Easy does it. And when the characters basically run out of stamina, they usually give you a verbal command. That's why you see here, here saying, easy does it. Whoa. Tired. That kind of stuff. Just a little good game through, full of one-liners. And we're going back to the guy that wanted the med kit. And one reason why we're kind of just doing all this here is because the reward for this level, uh, when you do complete the actual mission, is that you are going to... I didn't eat breakfast that day. Yeah, that one's a good one, too. The, the Outlanders do that. Skip breakfast mistake. But the, the people that we were used uh, for the missions that we were doing earlier, uh, for the actual expeditions, do you get one of those per survivor you save on these missions? And as you get higher level, the actual number of survivors that you get goes upper. Uh, so it gets one to two... Wish you can play this mode, but can't afford it? Well, Charizard, that's just the way it goes sometimes, man. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that, you know, are great. They're definitely worth the money. But, you know, money is a finite resource. Uh, I, I, instead of getting some games that people have said, Hey, Mag, are you going to be playing Mario Odyssey? Uh, well, no, I, I bought Fortnite, you know. <laughs> this is the game that enticed me. I decided that I really wanted to play it. I'm, I'm not a Mario guy. So instead of spending $60 on Mario Odyssey, I, I spent $40 on this game. Um, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. People are like, hey, you're going to play Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. It's like, uh, well, not really. I, you know, there's other games I'd rather spend my money on. And, and that's just a choice that we have to make as responsible people. Yeah, we did pretty good, guys. So we got a number of survivors. We got some materials that we needed, and we got to show the the actual ninja off. So that means uh, we got the soldier done. Oh, Charizard X! You know, uh, I too at one point in my life was a kid. One of the things I saved money back for for a very long time was a copy of Final Fantasy Tactics when I was 12. Um, you may be younger or older than I was then. And it took me several months to get up to 40 bucks for that particular game. And I did everything from extra chores. I Do I like Battle Royale? Um, no, not really, Johnson. Um, I'll play it if people are wanting to play it. If the actual Free For All Friday winner this week winds up choosing Battle Royale, then we absolutely will play it. Right now, Shadow's winning the free-for-all fight for this weekend at $10.48. Uh, yep, exactly. We, we won. We got the mission completed. We get all the loot now. Uh, everything that you accomplish in the actual mission determines the size of the loot chest you get at the end. Uh, so it looks like we should be getting level 3 loot. There is a known bug right now on that particular loot that it may not actually be the right one. I think there's a patch for that. Yeah, RFG man, uh, r responsible people. You know, you, you gotta you gotta kind of weigh your options. Uh, so we actually did wind up seeing level three loot, and in here we get some hero XP. Um, we get the people that we use here. I like how PS4 can play with PC on this game. I do too. I hope that does not go away. And we got some schematic XP. And now we can go to Heroes, we can go to our Assassin Sarah, and we can see we are nowhere near leveling her up with that amount of experience points. But guys, that's uh, here's our Injury Thief. I, I don't think we're going to be able to do her either. But yeah, guys, that's, that's pretty much um, everything at this point that we could show on Fortnite as far as how-tos, different character types, how they play. Um, this video here, this live stream, plus the other two pre-recorded streams, I think pretty much covers everything. 
uh, only here due to Thanksgiving break. Well, that's cool, Charizard X. I, uh, I myself am going to probably be calling it quits on the stream, guys. I do need to go to bed. I'm trying to get back to an overnight sleeping schedule. I, uh, I really appreciate everybody coming here and watch today. It was really cool. Um, one of those games, again, this is probably my favorite game to play right now. Um, but yeah, guys, tomorrow morning will be another random game played. It will not be Fortnite. If, uh, one Korok seed left now. Oh, well, Indigo Fair. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Keep in mind, guys, we do have two things going on right now. We have the vote going on in our Discord for the next game series. And we do have the actual donation drive for No Shave November. You can see it's getting pretty burly, guys. Uh, thank you, Anthony Johnson. Uh, Catwater, thanks for modding the stream today. Really appreciate it. Uh, Demon Huntress, shout out to, to you as well as um, all our other actual sponsors. Uh, Shadow132, who's been lurking in. And Hobbs, thanks, man. Uh, Potato Sackhead, who was here earlier. Um, just, you know, everyone who popped in today. Really cool to see you guys. I'm glad to be back. Um, Hobbs, Indigo Farah, Relaxing Fun of Gaming, Chadley. I know Kenny the Neo Kid popped in earlier today as well. Uh, always cool to see you guys. I'm, I'm glad to be back, and we will be playing something real fun tomorrow. I assure you on that. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. This is Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Hat. Say, have a great whatever you're having. If it's a morning, an evening, or an afternoon, just make sure it's great.